you also oversaw the Human Genome Project. You mean you mentioned the Brain Initiative, which has, you know, it's a it's a dream to map the human brain, and there's the dream to map the the human code, which was the Human Genome Project. And you have said that it is humbling for me and awe inspiring to realize that we have caught the first glimpse of our own instruction book, previously known only to God. How does that, if you can just kind of wax poetic for a second, how does it make you feel that we were able to map this instruction book, look into our own code and be able to uh, reverse engineer it? It's breathtaking. It's so fundamental. And yet uh, for all of human history, we're ignorant of the details of what that instruction book looked like. And then we crossed the bridge into the territory of the known. And we had that in front of us, still written in a language that we had to learn how to read. And we're in the process of doing that and will be for decades to come. But we owned it, we had it. And it has such profound consequences. It's, it's both a book about our history. <laughs> um, it's a book of sort of the parts list of a human being, the genes that are in there and how they're regulated. And it's also a medical textbook that can teach us things that will provide answers to illnesses we don't understand and, and alleviate suffering and premature death. So it's a pretty amazing thing to contemplate. And it has utterly transformed the way we do science. And it is in the process of transforming the way we do medicine, although much of that still lies ahead. You know, while, while we were working on the Genome Project, it was sort of hard to get this sense of a wowness because it was just hard work <laughs> and you were getting, you know, another mega base. Okay, this is good. Yeah. But when did you actually step back and say, we did it? It's the profoundness of that. I mean, there were two points, I guess. One was the announcement on that June 26, 2000, where the whole world heard, well, we don't quite have it, but we got a pretty good draft. <laughs> and suddenly people were like realizing, oh, this is, this is a big deal. Um, for me, it was more when we got the full analysis of it, published it in February 2001 in that issue of Nature paper that Eric Lander and Bob Waterston and I were the main authors, and we toiled over and tried to get as much insight as we could in there about what the meaning of all this was. But you also had this sense that we are such beginning readers here. <laughs> we are still in kindergarten trying to make sense out of this three billion letter book. And we're going to be at this uh, for generations to come. <laughs>